Are we rolling? Yes, we are. I'm just trying to set up this camera. Oh my goodness. I feel as though this is gonna like not work. Okay, let's go. Oh, because I've got my hair slicked back so it looks really brunette, it just like blends in with the car and I kind of look like an egg. But there's nothing I can do about it now. Let's go to Starbucks. My car is called Cherry, so I've got a Cherry playlist on Spotify. I'm gonna drive to Starbucks with you guys and then we'll park up and we're gonna answer some life update questions. I am buzzing. I feel like my camera is gonna fall though. So if if I just kind of cut off and see you at Starbucks, that's because my camera fell. I'm not gonna talk for this bit. I have to concentrate whilst driving. Bye. Oh my god, my camera just fell. <laughs> that was really scary. Okay, I'm gonna see you at Starbucks. Not too good at parking, so I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, we've done it. We've done it. That was really good. Mm. Okay, perfect. Lighting looks good. I look bald, but I look good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a life update and just basically answering all your questions that have been asked recently because the last one I did, it was October, the last one that I did, and like my life's changed a lot since then. If you follow me on TikTok, then you'll probably see more of my life updates because I post more frequently on TikTok. But YouTube, like I'll do videos and stuff, for example, a haul, but I'm not talking about my life, so I feel like I've not actually updated you guys in ages. Um, but yeah, I've got so much I want to talk about, so I'm just buzzing. I got an iced caramel, no, an iced vanilla latte. I used to always get an iced caramel latte, now I've started getting an iced vanilla latte because I thought it was better. But then to be fair, the other day I got an iced caramel latte again and it actually tastes the exact same. So I've asked for questions on my Instagram, so I've got loads from there. And then I've also got a couple of questions on YouTube. And then I've got just some of my own things that I want to talk about. By the way, I'm in this like outfit because I'm going to the gym. Um, straight after this. I don't even know where to start. Let's go with have you got a boyfriend? Yes, I have got a boyfriend. A real life boyfriend. Which honestly is crazy to me because I have never had a boyfriend before. And I've always been like low-key heartless. Like kind of numb. Okay, this lighting is not the one. I've always told people that I'm like numb to all emotions. Because I genuinely used to be. Like I didn't have it in me to like love someone. And like be in a relationship I literally just couldn't I just like I didn't even see a point in relationships I was just like I'd rather be single what's the point and I want a boyfriend this is the most biggest red flag thing I've ever said online but I literally used to think like why have one boyfriend when you could have like seven boyfriends <laughs> that is so bad obviously like seven without titles or anything but like that is really bad no I think about that but now I'm in a relationship a very healthy relationship we've never had an argument we became boyfriend and girlfriend on the 1st of January but we met in November we spent Valentine's together and it's really fun I've never had a Valentine before like never a real one I've had like little primary school things so it was really cute and we went to the Lowry Hotel in Manchester which is like a really nice hotel and he like paid for it all and he surprised me by like having or like the roses on the bed and stuff which said I love you and that's how he said I love you for the first time it was really cute but yeah I'm open to talking about him and stuff I don't know if I'd get him on my channel like properly yet because there's not really a point like what's the point like there isn't any like for example a sit down video with me and him I feel like it might just be a bit awkward because he's not like he's not on really social media and stuff that's that one boom addressed do you know what is so weird though in my last video of a life update i said in it that i have a feeling in my bones that i was gonna have a boyfriend like for winter and everything and it hadn't happened yet so i was like oh it's clearly not happening then when i said that as well though i didn't know this boy existed or anything and i wasn't even speaking with anyone properly the fact that like i actually then did meet someone is just so weird to me because it's like how did my brain just like no this is me and him in case you're wondering people have asked me a few questions about driving so like what car do you have what's the furthest you've driven how good of a driver are you how many driving lessons until i passed i don't know how many lessons i had it was either 20 or 30 and there's a big difference in between but because i bought my lessons in blocks and i can't remember if i bought two blocks or three blocks but it's either 20 or 30, so that's quite a lot of lessons, to be fair. I do two hours every week, so, like, I suppose that is quite a lot because you buy the hours, not the lessons. I passed my driving test on February the 23rd, I think. I was so annoyed because my driving test was booked for January. It got cancelled because on the day of my test, it started snowing. Oh, literally awful. And I was so looking forward to it because I just obviously just wanted to drive and get my freedom. It got automatically rebooked for the end of April. 
and I was literally fuming because that's four months away four months to wait when I was already ready to do it in January anyway I managed to get a cancellation so I got the cancellation for February the 23rd and I did my driving test and I passed first time which is amazing this is my car which I'm in now um it's a mini convertible in red the car is actually mine and my sister's to share but also we kind of don't share it because she's at uni so she doesn't need the car and she's not even on the insurance anymore so it, it is kind of my car but when she comes back she'll get put on the insurance again and then we'll share it during the summer it's so fun though just like having my own car and being able to just drive wherever i want to whenever i want to it's so so brilliant like one thing i'd say if you can't it's so expensive learning to drive buying the insurance buying the car buying the petrol like everything is so expensive about cars but if you can afford it and if you have enough time to i'd so recommend it because like just being able to like drive myself to college is so much better funny story about my driving test so before your driving test you have to be able to like check if you can read number plates of cars so my driving examiner told me to read a number plate off a car and to be fair it was quite far away like people have told me before that they're really close and you can easily see it but it was actually quite far away so I started reading it and I said MT and then whatever the rest of the number was and then he was like are you sure about that so I was like oh my goodness because to be honest I wasn't sure because it was quite far away so then I was like panicking because I don't know if you can pass your test if you can't read the number plate i can't remember but i was then panicking like oh my goodness imagine if i've got the first question wrong so anyway then i like changed my mind and i was like oh i said wt and then the rest of the number and he said to me you just said mt not wt so what's the right answer so i was really panicking i was like no i didn't say mt i said wt he was like no the answer was mt but you said that at the start so it's fine i was like okay uh I thought that was just so bad though because then after that I was like literally walking to this car to do my driving test like panicking I was like what the hell just happened but I think that's so bad that he like kind of tried to trick me up by saying like can you just read that again to confirm it for me because then it obviously threw me off and then I said a different number and my driving tests were actually really easy and my examiner was like really nice as well so it was fine I quite enjoyed it yeah, I got a question as I was saying am I a good driver I would say I am a good driver my friends might argue otherwise mm, struggle with parking a lot really do not bay parking i can park in a bay quite well but like parking parallel parking on the side of the road when it's in between cars that's when i find it hard but maybe that'll just develop with time i've only been driving for a month let's be real this starbucks is literally just what i flipping needed how has life been treating you my life has actually been treating me well i've been very happy recently like i've not been upset in quite a while um the only thing is is just the workload because i'm literally doing my a levels in a few months i've just got so much to do all the time and it's really stressing me out that like i just literally feel as though i don't have time for anything like anything and i don't have time to like go and enjoy myself or if i'm chilling or relaxing or enjoying myself i'm thinking to myself i should be doing this 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 and this instead so that's one thing which i am just quite stressed at the minute just the fact that i literally don't have time for anything and I've been wanting to film this YouTube video for so long, but I just don't have time, so I've just squeezed it in my day today. But that will all be over. Once I've finished my A-levels, then I'll have time to do everything. So it's just short-term stress. And I just need to decide what I'm doing about uni, because that's kind of stressing me out as well. But I think once I've got everything done... Right, I always say, once I've got everything done off my to-do list, then I will genuinely be fully happy, because I'll be, like, fully stress-free. But it's just my to-do list is literally never ending like i'm always finding things that I sh like more things to do but anyway other than that though I'm, I'm actually really happy like i am so thank you for asking that plans for after college i said this in my last life update as well i still don't know if i want to go to uni or not i'm thinking i'm more likely to go to uni now and if so it'll be leeds beckett i think but i still am not 100 because i could go to barcelona for a year and that sounds like a dream because it'd be like a holiday for a year but then also that's the thing it wouldn't be like a holiday for a year and i don't know any spanish and realistically if i'm trying to get a part-time job there or something i literally can't speak spanish so i doubt i'd get a job anywhere so i'm not sure i'm all all that i still need to decide but i'll let you know as soon as i've got a decision how old was you when you realized you wanted to become an influencer i remember right i don't know how old i was but i was probably like 
maybe it was like year seven when I remember so vividly I had this book and it was like how to be a blogger or something by Zoe Sugg and another one I don't know I can't remember I remember I kept it under my bed and I'd literally wake up in the morning I always I've always been an early bird like I always wake up really early and the whole family would still be asleep and I'd wake up and I'd whip out my book and I'd start like filling it in because it was like what would you call your channel what would be your channel banner and everything and I'd just like sit and do it for ages and I always really wanted to do it like so wanted to but I was just so nervous to and then when it became lockdown 2020 I just started it because I was like I'm not gonna see anyone for ages and I don't know what my mindset was to be fair but I just kind of started it and just thought I don't care I want to do it so I did but when I was in primary school I had a fake YouTube channel I think that like everyone had a fake YouTube channel well it was a real YouTube channel it was on YouTube it doesn't exist anymore we always used to post videos and upload them they were like raw we didn't edit them we didn't know that editing was even a thing but yeah so I've always kind of wanted to do I've always been interested in it what are some highlights for you this year? I've been getting more into the gym actually. Since driving, I've been able to go to the gym way more. And I always said it. I always said that like I was going to go to the gym more when I can drive. And people used to say to me, like, actually, like my friends, and it kind of annoyed me. Not my close friends, like other friends. But they'd be like, no, you're not. We well, no, you're not going to. Because it just sounds. I've always been a member of my gym, literally since I was like six. I'd never used to go that much because like it was just annoying because i'd have to get a lift off someone and therefore i'm going on their time schedule and their times and i just it made it me not want to go to the gym kind of because i'd always have to go at like 6 p.m and that's the busiest time and i hate the gym when it's busy so i'd always say to people like it's because i can't drive and if i could drive i'd so go because i want to go and yeah like my kind of distant friends would be like no it's just an excuse when you pass you're still not gonna go much and i was just thinking like rude but anyway since i've passed i've been going so much and and I absolutely love it like I try to go every day but obviously it doesn't end up working out that way but now I go about five times a week which is really good for me yeah I'm really proud of myself actually and I've proved everyone who said that it was an excuse wrong I just think being able to drive just makes things better so yeah I've been going to the gym loads recently this car I've just figured out how to make the Bluetooth work so now I can actually play all my own music which I'm so excited about because I used to use CDs or bring my speaker in the car but that's just like effort but now I can actually do it properly so I'm so excited about it I love driving with my I just I love my music and I love driving so it just is perfect yeah what series are you currently watching? I'm currently watching Orange is the New Black. I've never watched it before. I've only recently started watching it. I'm quite a bit far through it though. It's not like something, I don't know. I wouldn't usually watch, like the things that I like to watch isn't really like that. But there's literally, there's nothing on Netflix. So I just started watching it and it's all right as background noise. Like I can't sit and watch it because I don't think it's entertaining enough. But like whilst I'm eating my tea, and being an ipad kid then i'll watch it or whilst tidying my room like it's all right to put on but i actually need recommendations of series because i feel like i've watched everything or at least i've watched everything which i'd find interesting any holidays booked yes i do i have two holidays booked right now i've got tenerife which i fly i'm pretty sure it's two days after my last a level my first a level is for graphics it's on may the 7th 8th and 9th and then graphics will be fully over which is literally a dream come true because that is my least favorite subject i cannot stand it it literally boils my blood i hate that like i i don't think you understand the hate i hold for that subject probably due to my teacher though i do think that your teacher changes a lot about like whether you like the lesson or not my last a level is business studies and then i fly to tenerife two days after and that's with one of my friends and then i'm going to malia with two of my friends in july i think july the 11th so yeah that's really exciting if you guys have got any holidays booked let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know what are your goals for the end of the year that is a good question my goals are stay happy because right now i'm happy i've recently been like getting into better routines i talked about the gym but i've also been like eating a bit better like i'm really really enjoying salads there's like a certain salad which i can make and i really enjoy everything like it's actually tasty whereas i feel like some salads you make and you're like mm, this has got no taste to it and also i just want to like manage my time better and stuff i've currently got a schedule in my notes which i try and follow i'm going to do a week in my life which should be my next youtube video so i can show me like sticking to it i'm trying to just be basically the best version of myself so that's a good end of year goal just to like kind of be the best version of myself i'd love to just like make more money because currently i'm not employed i get money from social media not loads though to be honest because i don't really have time like, i get offers for brand deals and stuff and paid collaborations but 
I literally don't have time to do it so I have to decline quite a few but when I finish college and stuff I can accept more I don't know what else like make more friends depending on whatever I do if I go to uni or stay here or go to Barcelona whatever I do in September I'm gonna hopefully make some friends I'd like to succeed more in social media I'd love to get 100k on TikTok by the end of the year I don't know if I'll be able to because I'm a little bit inconsistent with TikTok all of a sudden I'll post absolutely loads and then I'll kind of ghost it for a few weeks but that would be crazy if I could do that so if you're not following me on TikTok go ahead and follow my a-level predictions are a a b i don't know if i'll be able to get that i think i'll get a b in graphics an a in criminology i hope and i would love to get an a in business but i don't think i will i think i'll end up getting a b don't quote me on that because if when i do my a-level results video if i've got like ccd i'll be flip it i'll be embarrassed but i'm gonna hope for a bba worst brand you've collaborated with that is so freaking juicy no to be fair i'm not gonna like name brands but there are some brands which really annoy me because i'll like create the content i'll send them like my invoice and i'll send them the content which i've created and post it and then they just don't pay me and it's really frustrating because i'm just like me just a solo me sitting in my bedroom creating content like there's nothing i physically can do or would know what to do to like get my money but it's so annoying because i've spent like hours making the content and posting it and giving them like the views and stuff and the possible sales and then they just don't pay me for it when we've agreed in a contract to pay me i'm not going to take it to court because it's like me I'm, i wouldn't even know how to do that but it's just like i hate brands like that and it's happened a few times now and i'm just like like why but it's annoying as well because there's been some brands which i've actually really liked working with like i've loved the product which they've given me but then they'll do something like not pay me and i'm just like that is so not fair because we agreed on that tips on college my top tips are year 12 don't be a layabout don't get me wrong like you can just have some fun because year 13 it gets more stressful so like you know i would say in year 12 create revision resources as you go along by the end of summer in between year 12 and year 13 i'd created all my revision resources for year 12 which definitely helped because now if now in year 13 i had to start creating resources from all of year 12 i would be like fuming and so behind definitely do that definitely hang out with friends and like make loads of friends talk to everyone if you can and like be kind to everyone because no one's gonna be friends with you if you think you're entitled and if you're a bit of a bitch don't spend all of your freeze having fun like sometimes maybe go to the library make some resources or do some revision or do your homework in your freeze because you're just going to end up making your own life easier for yourself long term how do you be productive i always be productive oh i'm so hot i'm gonna have to take this off i always have a tidy room and i do that by when i'm about to go to sleep i always tidy my bedroom when i wake up make sure my bedroom's tidy when i leave in the morning i try to make sure my bedroom's tidy don't get me wrong if i've tried to find an outfit there could be clothes all over the floor but then i'll come home from where i've been and tidy it like i think definitely keep a tidy room because that helps you be productive but just before i go to sleep as well i always write in my notes a to-do list for the next day and it is more beneficial if i do this but it does take a bit longer i like plan out my whole day and actually stick to like timings for example on a wednesday um recently sometimes i've been so i wake up at 5 20 leave the house at 5 40 get to the gym at 6 work out till 6 50 leave go to the study area and it's just like i have it all planned out timings as well and that definitely helps because it helps you actually stick to it whereas sometimes if you just write a to-do list like it's a bit wishy-washy like you can you kind of could end up getting a bit distracted and stuff and lose focus but if you've got timings i think it's easier to be productive because you can stick to it and you can see the layout of your day and you just have to follow it um but also i am someone where if i don't get my to-do list done or if something changes in my very laid out day then i'm like oh my goodness my whole day is ruined but that's just me i maybe i'm just weird that's all the instagram questions someone on youtube called chloe louise she commented a few questions and can i just say i always read all my youtube comments and i've noticed that she comments a lot so thank you so much for supporting me and everything if anyone wants to ever comment anything on my youtube i always read all of them and i really appreciate like your support and everything because sometimes i put youtube videos out and i'm like is anyone actually watching this does anyone actually care but yeah i love it when people like chloe just keep up the support and everything i got another question saying how do i deal with my metaphobia to be honest it used to actually affect me way more like a year or two ago but i think that's because i had more anxiety i don't have anxiety but i was more anxious about certain things so therefore it affected me more i actually don't really deal with it i just kind of suffer so i can't really give you any tips but i actually had quite a bad 
like panic attack when I was actually with my boyfriend and no one had ever no one has ever seen me have that bad of a panic attack in that most vulnerable state that I was when I did um, it's because we'd been to a party and I'd got too drunk and I felt like I was gonna be sick like I was gagging and like I really thought I was gonna throw up and therefore I was literally having the worst panic attack I've ever had on the side of a road it was really bad but yeah I don't really but like for me my metaphobia I do have bad emetophobia but it doesn't affect me as much as it used to um I don't know why just for an example I used to be like in public toilets whether that's like the college toilets or wherever I was and if I heard someone cough in the toilet I would literally be like I, my body would like freeze because I'd like and I'd literally have to cover my ears because I'd think what if they're throwing up in the toilet and like I'm here so it's like little things like that where I just like kind of my metaphobia would affect me whereas now I'm if I hear someone cough in the toilet I'm okay like I'm just like part of me is still a bit like but I'm okay like I, I'm fine but I don't really have any coping methods I'm pretty sure that's all the questions that I definitely wanted to address I do obviously have my A-levels starting in literally seven weeks so I predict during that time I'll defo not really upload I'm gonna really really try and get in a better schedule to fit in YouTube so that I can because I literally love filming YouTube videos and I hate that like I've just now told you like six months worth of life updates in one video bye